Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm all over. I'm all over the place this morning. That is astonishingly loud. Hang on. Turn that all the way down there. I don't know what it is, but someone decided to make all the refiner refineries in the assembler just incredibly loud. It's weird. Hey, darling. Hi. Are you okay? Oh. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, I'm... I'm snotting all over the place. I don't know what it is, but there is something in this flat which is causing allergies to, uh, to spike. And I have no idea what it could be. I wake up in the morning and then all of a sudden my nose just starts running. It's, it's crazy. So apologies if I make disgusting noises into the microphone. Um, hi, um, and I hope you're all okay. So an update on what's happening on the YouTube side of things then, which is my primary focus throughout the weeks. Um... Yeah, so I'm currently working on a really, really big video, which I talk about pretty much every day. Uh, it's a video essay on a game called The Forest, and it's about 2 hours and 15 minutes long. It's about 30,000 words, or its script is 30,000 words. And, sorry, I also just hit myself in the face accidentally when I sat down, um, which is stupid. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so it's about 30,000 words, split up into about 24 segments, 24 chapters, I suppose. And what I've done is I've finished, in finger quotes, 19 out of the 24. So it definitely feels like we're approaching the end now. Um, so the first 12 are linked below. So the first 12 are in the link, are linked below. Um, that's like the first hour. And then 13 through 19, I'm working on now. Uh, so I'm trying to phase two edit slash quality assure the timeline. So um, that basically just means I've got it end to end edited, but some of it is pretty shit. Like there's audio fuck ups and there's whole sections which are just tagged, you know, animate this, that sort of thing. Um, so lots more editing to, to do. I'm hoping I can get it done by the end of this week. I'm really, really hoping I can deliver segments one to... Or technically segments 2 to 19 by the end of the week. And then I move straight on to segments 1 and then 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then we're done. Um, that's my hope at least. So, yeah. How are you all? How is it? Sorry, so too long didn't read as I'm still working on this damn video essay. And I'm just hoping to update the link below to give you more than the first hour. Right. Okay. You're right, darling. She's cold. She hated this morning. Okay. <sighs> so, it is absolutely gnarly outside in the United Kingdom right about now. Um... The, the light snowfall that we had yesterday has frozen into a sheet of just ice. So it's really fucking not good out there. I've seen so many people, um, you know, slip uh, on the ice this morning. So, um, 
yeah, a bit of a pain. I've also just uh, popped the air conditioning on to reduce the temperature and also get the moisture out. Because it feels very damp in here. Right. Okay. Cool. I'll just unmute TeamSpeak momentarily. Hang on. Oh. So, yeah. Sorry. I smacked myself in the face because when I was sitting down... You probably heard it because I went live. Um, I went to put the headphones on. And the left side slipped out of my fingertips as I was, as I was stretching it over my ears. So, it just clonked me in the mouth. And it really fucking hurt, actually. Hmm. Anyway, never mind. Right. Let's create this fuss. Hello. 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 Hi, Hi guys. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Do you mind oh, if I stream in here? No, of course not. Cool. How are you all? Yeah, good, thank you. It's my daughter's birthday this weekend, so I've gone to work Ooh. for a break and a bit of peace and quiet. Hmm. Happy birthday to your daughter. Thank you, yes. I decided to stream making her cake on Friday, which was a mistake, but hey-ho. Yes. <laughs> Did it go well? <laughs> well, the mixer broke. Um, I split the milk chocolate that I was using. I had to run down the shop midstream to get some more. So, you know, the, the usual, really. Yes, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> did she get anything nice? Uh, she got an iPad, the sport little. Yes, oh. yes, yes, she did. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah, yeah, I know. But when I was a kid, I got a stick and told to be yeah. happy with it. Yeah, yeah, my daughter gets an iPad. That's a, that's a change in generation for you, yes. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, cool. and then it's... Now, now that's done. It's like right, okay. Now we've got to gear up for Christmas now. So, oh yes. God! Yeah, tell me about it. Was she an attempt at a Christmas child? She was not. No, um, she was actually. We missed by three months when we would hope when we were hoping to have her. We were hoping she'd be a September baby, but um, yeah, it took a bit more. Um, how do we say this delicately? A, a, a bit more going through the act in order to get there. <laughs> Word, wording that delicately. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. morning everyone. Yeah. Three, three months to figure out you need to take the condom off. Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could say something highly inappropriate and she would definitely hear me, even though she's at work. I know I'd get a slap when I got home. So yes. <laughs> How you doing, Emil? Old. Old? Cool. No, I hope you're um, well. And how you doing, Duck? Yeah. You okay? My face is numb. Oh yes, you you went to the dentist. Yes. Oh God, you sound they like took, shit. They took one of my tooth out. Was it a wisdom tooth? Yes. Do you feel like you have less wisdom? Mm, <laughs> Did uh, you have much yeah, to start with? Fur furnish us with some wisdom. Can you get negative wisdom? Don't, 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 don't eat, eat the yellow snow. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's that's all I got. Give him some game suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder what it could be. Well, let me think. Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a horror yep. thing? Yep, less wisdom. Mm. Yeah. Oh dear. I rebuilt my. Weekend? Oh, yeah, sorry. I I mostly spent it playing Space Engineers and or <laughs> masturbating. Oh well, you know, you know, both valid uses of time. That's fair yeah. enough. Yes. And also on Saturday, I opened up a bottle of whiskey thinking, yeah, you know, this will warm me up. Oh, nice. And then I had way too much whiskey. Oh, that's that's easy to do. What whiskey it's was it? Was it a nice uh, one? I don't know. It's over there in the kitchen. Is that the bottle oh, of whiskey okay. you were meant to send to me? No, no. It's it, it's just a gift someone sent like a year ago. Oh, okay. Um, keep, oh God, I can't keep a bottle of whiskey in the wait, cupboard wait, for a month, let alone a year. <laughs> Where's my bottle of whiskey then? Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I, I I had way too much whiskey and ended up having a sleep in the mid afternoon on a Saturday. <laughs> you mean you passed out? Let's let's, let's be no, honest. No, I, not, I, not asleep. I passed I, out. Yes. I pulled the drawstrings on on my hoodie closed and just snuggled up with the dog. Oh bless! I was like, okay. today is a write off. I'm too <laughs> shit faced. <laughs> we do like days like that. Did yes. you did you get the button this time? <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, so I just uh, Saturday was weird. Fair enough. Hungover on Sunday or not too bad? Nah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, what are you guys up to right now? Working at the moment. Yeah, work. Yeah? Yep. How's the job going, Duck? Uh, it's going fine. Good. Just uh, getting started, really. Now he's shooting the lasers at fish vindictively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With malice. So I think I got paid for my old job as well. Ooh. I think uh, I think they, I, I'm you. still on their like um, payroll. Oh, are you, have uh, you told them? Uh, should I? Is that a good thing? Should yeah. I tell them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I should tell just, them. Yeah. 
That's that's a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> Just think that it, uh, clearly these things update in the new year, so you should give it an extra month. So hmm. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. the guy in office space? The guy that just they, they never terminated his pay, so he yeah. just kept working there yeah. and complaining about his red stapler. Yeah, we fixed the glitch. That's um, <laughs> that's the one. Yes, Doctor Cox came in and sorted it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's been years since I've seen that film. Oh, I've seen it for ages. Brian Cox. <laughs> <laughs> that was before his uh, rave music days. Yeah. But yeah, so you guys both working then? Yeah. Is it cold down there, the other way? Oh, it's fucking horrible. Yeah. It's really unpleasant. Did the school run this morning and dress the daughter up like the Michelin man. It's like, yeah, yeah that's fine. Another coat on. <laughs> but Dad, I've got four coats on. Another coat on, damn it. Yes. I've, I've, I know I whinge a lot, but I've, I've really struggled Did to you? keep this flat. Yeah. I've really struggled to keep this flat warm. It's, yeah. it's yeah. So it's just, have you just tried lighting fires around the dogs. place? Sorry, go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out. No, no, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, okay. Shit. Yes, treat you. <laughs> God damn it. Jinx. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, it's just um, yeah, it's just been a pain in the ass. Like every time you put the radiator on, just the heat just disappears through the yeah. sash windows. You have to treat it like Rimworld and just light a fire in each room. Yeah. No, that's how you deal with the bugs. <laughs> but yeah, um trying to think what else is going on really. Not much, oh. just everyone's just trying to stay warm. Yeah, isn't that the truth at the moment, yeah. Are you all set for Christmas, all the shopping done? Uh it's most well, sort of. I've still got quite a few people that I need to buy for. Are these, you a panic twenty fourth of December No, but yeah, no, I, I do yeah, but I, I I send gifts to people, but I still fucking hate Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to be that guy who doesn't reciprocate, you know, when he gets gifts. Mm. You open the box, you open the box up for Mobble and it just coughs at you. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I can't stand Christmas. It, it's, it's a pre-recording of a rant about Christmas. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somehow 40k gets in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I, fuck me, over the weekend I was, I was listening to lots of 40k lore from, like, YouTube oh, channels and stuff. And it's frustrating because I'm like, yeah, this is really interesting. And it's like, I, w I was like two seconds away from like posting on like uh, 40k lore and be like, hey, this piece of lore is really interesting. But it's like, no, stop it, stop it, stop it. Read the sign one read more time. Read the sign yeah. on my monitor. Read the sign. Yes. Yeah. Stop it. Okay. Not worth the it. Sign. Not worth it. <laughs> Don't go you down that rabbit hole. the font on the sign. Maybe make it yeah. a neon one. That's what, no, that's what I'm going to get him for Christmas is a bigger sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> What's your plan in Space Engineers today? Well, I need to take that ship up into space, but it turns out my batteries are dead, so I'm just ah, waiting for okay. them to charge. You need me a bit more ice. If you just go down Halfords, you pay four ninety nine, and they'll yeah. change them out for you. Ah. I haven't been down to like fucking yeah, like the big retailers in years. Did you leave the radio on? <laughs> uh. I went into PC like a few years ago, right? I went into mm. PC World, and yeah. granted, okay, in hindsight. I can mm. sort of see their point, but I remember at the time being flabbergasted because uh, I went there years and years ago for like, okay, I need thermal paste for my for my yeah. CPU or something, yep. and there was always like a little shelf or something. It was never like a huge section of it. Yes. But a few years ago, I walked into PC World and it wasn't PC World anymore. It was PC World Curries or Curry's. something. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and, the merger years and ago. And everywhere there were just like dishwashers and appliances and shit. Yep. And I went up to the dude, and okay, granted, I did ask something that's a little specialist, mm -hmm. but I went, do you have any compressed air for de-dusting, de you know, removing dust yeah. from components? Yep. Yeah. And nothing. They they didn't even have, like, a small little shelf, like, with the technical bits, like, thermal compound or whatever. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You used and to have, I, like, a little section. It had, like, SATA cables and, like, compressed air. And, yeah. and they never had lots in there, but it was just enough. If, if it was an emergency, you could run down and grab some. Yeah. And I was like, you're PC World, and yeah. you don't have PC, like, specialist components? Yeah. I just like, fuck. <laughs> I think the PC World part at this point is just, like, shitty tech support. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've ne guys. never gone in there again. Yeah. I never will. Fair enough. It's like that, you know, you don't have fucking, yeah. But stupid. what if you need a dishwasher? Damn it. And some thermal paste in the same shop. Mm. Yeah. And some compressor. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> oh, turrets, you're useless. 
Hmm. Who built them? I did. <laughs> that explains it. Yes. I see. It looks like I need more of them. <clears throat> but yeah. But I haven't been to. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. I very, very, very rarely go into proper shops anymore. I just shop online. Yeah, it's so much easier, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That avoids going outside. And you pay for Bezos to go to space. Yeah, absolutely. And his big penis rocket. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I thought getting Bezos off the planet. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'd happily contribute towards that. Oh, it's waiting for my damn battery to charge. <laughs> Sitting there just waiting for the car to warm up in the morning. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Although I, I went out there last night and, and so snowfall, right, in Brighton. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and so everything is now like a thin layer of ice. Right, and okay. so the car cover that I've got over my car to stop it <laughs> getting shat on is yeah. now just an ice cube. It's completely frozen. <laughs> There's no getting that off. Yeah, absolutely. That is welded oh, on there into say, spring. If, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, if you get it off as well, can you just like drive your car with it and put it down? And it'll be like your car <laughs> yeah. never left. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> like a tent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to put the damn cover on there. Otherwise, I go back and it's, it's like right beneath a tree where birds roost. Oh, so okay, right, yeah. Just covered in shit whenever That'll I come back. That'll screw the paint up over years yep. as well. Just yeah. oxidizes the paint. So either the cover gets covered in shit or the car gets covered in shit. Yeah, I've got to decide. Yeah, easy decision. Yeah. Oh, you've just reminded me. I've got a book in my MOT. Oh, well reminded. Mm hmm. Yeah, I didn't do that. It was, yeah, I didn't. I forgot to do that properly, so I couldn't drive my car a couple of weeks ago. And then oh, you dear. thought, fuck it, and just didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I had to get driven around to places. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had to get driven around. Yeah, it's called the show for surface, yes. No, my mum. Oh, okay, right. It felt like yeah, being a teenager again. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, show for surface. Yeah. Why can't I say that? I have no idea. It was quite entertaining listening to you try, though. The sofa surface. Mom, can I have a lift, please? X Men film. X Men film? Silver oh. Server? Silver Surfer? Silver, Silver Surfer. Surfer. That's Surfer. Fantastic Four. That's Fantastic, That's Fantastic Four. Four. Is they yeah. not X Men? They kind no. of are, yes. In. I, th in I the think law. they're the same company, so they do crossovers, yeah. but they're. Are they not literally X Men? Don't they have, like, the blue jumpsuits and shit? They have blue jumpsuits, but they're not related in any way. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't do com comic book stuff. Batman, it's all the same. Superman, it's all the same thing. <laughs> Spider-Man, they're all just oh, the same dude. You've, you've made me sad now. Batman died. Yeah. Yeah, he did, yeah. Bless. But, yeah, Silver Surfer wasn't technically the Fantastic Four either. He was kind of... I think he originally turned out, started out as a bad guy. But I can now, I, now yeah. I'm showing my... It might be remembering. He's, if I remember correctly, he's the Herald of Galacticus, who's the right, giant yeah. dude that eats people. Yeah. It, not eats people, eats planets. But, uh, <laughs> technically, that encompasses that. Technically, he eats people yeah. as well. Yeah. And what what do the planets taste like? Chicken. Yeah. Chicken. Always chicken. Sorry, wh why does he eat planets? Because he's a planet sized person. Oh, so he, he has to. Yeah, it's got to get yeah. his nutrition from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So he's not doing it to be a bastard. He's just, you know, he's got to be no, something. No, he's, he's doing it to be a bastard as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But it's hard, hard to find up the local Chinese takeaway and order 400,000 oh. million tons of, uh, <laughs> of hydrogen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that going, yeah. I think he sack he basically became the herald of Galacticus of, to find planets for him in order to save his planet. Oh, that rings a bell, yeah. Wasn't he played by Lawrence Fishburne? He's white. The silver, technically, but was still wasn't he played by <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne? Oh, now I can't remember. That was a fair few years ago, wasn't it? Rise oh, of the Silver remember. Surfer. Yeah. yeah. Silver Surfer movie. Why is it Silver Surfer's brackets internet user? I think I went on a date and I saw that film. Really? I've I got a weird memory of like a bad date. It was yeah, that, think... that does sound like a bad date, yeah. Fantastic Four Rise of Silver Surfer. Who played Silver Doug Surfer? Doug Jones, the guy that was in Hellboy and Hellboy 2. Played him. Ooh. Oh, he's God. Good. 
And, and another film called Meet the Fockers, which was the... Mm. Ah, so... Lawrence Fishburne was the voice, so you uh, were partial. Uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne voiced him. There we cool. go. Yeah, a film called Meet the Fockers, which was the most painfully unfunny oh, thing. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. an awful choice for, like, a, a date thing. I, I remember the being fucking adverts for that everywhere. The fact that you can remember that Lawrence Fishburne, Fishburne did the voice in it more than you can about the date probably says how well the date went. But... Yeah, it did not go well. <laughs> Clearly, you should have went to meet the Fockers instead. Yeah. I got 55 seconds of power. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> no wonder the date didn't go well if that's... <laughs> yeah. 55 seconds? What? Are you cuddling twice? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, as I'm picking up speed. I've got 30 seconds of power. Just close your eyes and listen to this commentary. It takes you on an adventure that you wish <laughs> never happened. <laughs> oh god. Ah, I've got 10 seconds of power. <laughs> Lock on, you bastard. Oh, holy shit, that was close. Holy shit. Nothing likely cutting it to the air. Woo! To the wire. Fuck me. Okay. You had three seconds. Jesus Christ. Cool. O2 generators are being fed, making hydrogen fuel to get my ship up into space. I know this. Space. Spaceship. Spaceship. <clears throat> but yeah. Thinking about, I haven't really gone to the cinema even for like for, for, either for fucking years. I can't remember that. I think no. Um, Top Gun Maverick was the last thing I went to see at the cinema. Yeah. Hey, social. Yeah. Hey, social. Yeah. Uh, I, hello. How, how are, are you all doing? Uh, I am fucking Baltic. It's 14 and a half degrees in my house right now. Mm. I have three blankets on, two Wrist. socks, two jumpers, and gloves so I can work. <laughs> Very cold. Wow. With just little fingers sticking out of the end, frantically yeah. typing away to try and stay warm. Oh, good. Gecko, is yeah, it working? Exactly. Actually, is it uploaded? Actually, makes my hands colder because there's more, because <laughs> there's more um, yeah, surface. Yeah, there's more surface on my hands when they're, uh, you know, when fingers are apart, there's more surface exposed to the mm. heat, uh, the cold. Good, so good, Gecko, thank you. Which is why you can't have gigantic ants due to thermodynamics or some shit. I can't remember. An astronaut told me when I was like 12 yeah. the story of why you can't have giant ants, but I can't remember it. Giant ants? Yeah, I, I won a competition back in high school um, to go to Houston, Texas with like 40 other people. Really? Um, oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Um, and it was like space camp, so we built like model rockets and made like um, little uh, robots for going across rocky terrain. In Houston, uh, Texas, would it not be better in a... Where's it called that they launched them from in Florida? Well, yeah, but Houston has like yeah. their Kennedy uh, Kennedy Space Center, not Kennedy Space oh, Center, yeah. but like yeah, it, Houston Mission Controls there and all that. If you think um, of Apollo thirteen, it's Houston. We've yeah, got yeah. it's it's where all the astronauts train. So <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, I I like my memory is awful, so I only have like vague memories of things. But one of the things I remember is flying in like the the old shuttle simulator. Hmm. And just fucking bricking the landing, so they would stick us <laughs> on like final approach, and you're in like a full mock-up of the cockpit with oh, like wow, really? TVs yeah. on the screens. Um, this is, uh, and what is it I the... just I just remember coming in, hitting the runway, and like, okay, I've landed, and then doing a donut and going right into a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Um, the other what the other machine they had for testing was like the docking at the ISS. Oh, wow, so yeah. they would you could measure like there was a scoring system on how much fuel you used to dock with the ISS. Yep. So you have like to how match in, the rotation velocity. It's it's exactly like how Kerbal works. Oh really? 
yeah but obviously a lot more buttons but and a lot and, more expensive if it goes wrong yeah and the sim had a whole bunch of different options for different issues which they didn't do on us because we were kids and we just wanted right. to pretend like we're astronauts yeah um but yeah no fuck you, uh, basically you spent an entire uh, summer probably not 10k every week on different aspects of space flight yeah so like they would ask a question like uh you know give us a new you know as with the iss running tests mm -hmm. give us give us a new test or <clears throat> module for the iss and i think mine was like a magnetically sealed um bubble that you could put around any damage on the iss oh, so okay. the idea would be that you could pump in air yeah because using a um, using the astronaut suits was so fucking difficult mm -hmm. that you could create a pressurized environment heat it and then take off a spacesuit to enact fine repairs on the outer hull gotcha yeah obviously batshit crazy yeah but <laughs> it, it's that sort of question um mm -hmm. but yeah we you know we did a whole bunch and then because we're from Scotland and it was like Burns night, we had to host the Cayley and we had like the, the you know, the, the British ambassador was at the Cayley and oh, really? a whole bunch of other folk. Yeah. And, you know, we were all dressed in kilts and uh, Cayley dancing and fucking playing music. Yeah, it was good. I mean, like, it was nice, uh, you know, but I don't remember much more of it than the occasional memories. I remember uh, somebody even stepping in a fire ants nest. No, 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 just uh, I have a problem with my memory. Um, I can't remember much, uh, like, other than, like, just flashes of memories at times. Mm -hmm. um, like, a couple of years, and I'll forget most things. Yeah, okay. yeah you said that a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Don't have Alzheimer's yet. <laughs> Give it time. What? Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. <laughs> God damn it. Outsourcing my work. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I hope you were, man. Whoop. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm, I'm cold and I'm tired, but I'm busy with work, so not too bad. Has it been snowing up your way? It's not actually. It's oh, been really? like it's just ice. It's just frozen. And everything yeah. is like it's like minus four outside. Yeah. Um, it was like minus fifteen up in the highlands. Mm. It's fucking cold. <laughs> I was just saying before you arrived, uh, social that my car cover to stop bird shit. That it, it's got snow on it, and then the snow froze. So now it's just totally solid. There's no removing it. <laughs> it's quite amusing. I was like, fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna be there with a hair dryer, just like I need to drive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you been up to space yet? Uh, I'm so, I'm just charging both my, my batteries and getting some hydrogen. I, I did go up to space briefly and found a platinum asteroid, but um, yeah, so I need to go up there and find uranium and stuff. Nice. And maybe yeah. jump drive over to see what other people are building. Yeah. Oh, do you have a jump drive like? Uh, I I do well sort of it's almost finished I just need some gold which I've got down here oh, when my nice. damn batteries charge. <laughs> yeah, my my factory ship is uh, oh A Perry you're saying it's negative seven in Edinburgh A Perry are you in Edinburgh? Hmm? The hunt is on. I know somebody that lives near me. Stop and trying down. to shag the viewers. <laughs> I just like I, it's just like a fun thing like there's not many people that like live up this way that you know i can ever talk to you know if i want to go visit anybody in this clan i have a minimum <laughs> five to six hour drive yeah <laughs> and, and and that's like uk driving which i think is a different beast to like other people maybe god i wish we were like the us and like our motorway was just like yeah we were just gonna make this interstate like 400 miles long dead yeah. street you don't have to think about it it's you know three lanes yep. each direction yep yeah, yeah, no from, potholes. From it's here, all properly signposted. Just fucking go. It's like four and a half hours from here to Devon, but like an hour and a half is on the M25, just stuck in stuck in a tailback. You know, stuck yeah. in a fucking. You know, it's not like ah oh, the open road. It's no, it's up on the M25 and then you sit there. Yeah, it's that that ten miles in between where the M27 comes up and the M3 goes off, and that just takes you like half of your lifetime to get yeah. around. Yeah. So it's 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 unpleasant driving. Thank you, Lemon Army and yeah, Haynes. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Channel all the negative thank energy you, towards it. 
<laughs> well, it's like the good omens thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it's actually good like omens. The, the demon sigil yeah. of something or other, yeah. Yeah. My, up in Scotland, my unpleasant driving is the A9 past Perth because oh, at that point. It is a nightmare. Yeah, single, single lane for the most part. Trucks are limited to 50 mile an hour. So if you get stuck behind, you're doing 50 and a 60. And then in the dual carriageway, it goes up to 70, but you're racing every other motherfucker to get around any of the slow moving traffic. So many accidents on that road. Oh, Between yeah. There in Inverness, that road is just, ugh, yeah. Yeah, and then once I'm past Inverness, I still keep going north until I get to um, the north coast because I have job sites up there. So when oh, I go, you? it's like a five hour trip and I spend one hour of it on single track. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the advantage oh no. is that there are some lovely driving roads up there. Absolutely lovely driving roads, but it's nice when you're doing it on like a family trip and you only have to do it once mm. rather than, oh, hang on, I've got yeah. to drive to Thurso again. Uh, for some reason, I have not spawned at my factory ship. This is not ideal. Um, oh no, it's powered down. Respawn? No, it's called solar. It doesn't power down. Oh no. Someone turn the sun Me out. Meteors uh, took them out. I don't know. Um, hmm. Mag? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it's my whole base. My whole base is now in operational. I just have, like, a small asteroid cluster with a med station on it that I'm now spawning at, that I should not be spawning at. Oh dear. Do you know is it's... Is it um, nearby? It's uh, 1,800 kilometers away. Do you know it's last known co uh, coordinates? Uh, yeah, I do. If I can get my jump drive going, if you if we can't get hold of Mag, I can jump drive you there. See if you can find it. Uh, yeah, that would potentially work. Um, I right, bear with. Let me yeah. see if I can get some gold. Uh, might take a moment because I need five hundred more superconductors. Fix it with no admin help first. If needed, I jump on. Yeah, because it's got my jump drive module, my combat ship, and my factory ship are all, all the way. And the idea is, is that the solar panels and the batteries are there with two days worth of power mm. uh -huh. to just let me drop in when needed. I mean, when it's in the sun, it's actually charging. So, yeah. Let, let this me. Is not ideal. Let me get. Yeah. Let, let me pick you up and then I can t taxi you. Yeah, I'll need to join Cock again. Oh no! Die, you rocks of Satan! <laughs> oh man, I can't believe you. Jesus, fuck the Gatlings. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope you're okay up in Scotland. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm hungry. I need to order food because I've got nothing in the house that's actually tasty. Mm. <laughs> I have like bricks of ramen noodles ready for when I can't oh. buy anything in the rest uh, in the like the, just like yeah, they're they're in like a warm, dry cupboard. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've got like <laughs> too many. <laughs> I mean, but, I want ramen. Yeah, but I like ramen noodles because uh, I, I just need to make like a chicken stock or you know yeah. whatever and I have super noodles. Hmm. Job done. Yeah. Chuck some meat in for a bit of difference. It's just, yeah, when I can't be fucked, they're an easy option. Um, yeah, so sorry, I um mm -hmm. thing to join uh, your faction. So uh, okay. it would allow me to... Uh, suicide. You have joined uh, Cock. Hey. Hey. Huh, I can't choose your med bay. You can't? No. Uh. Um, do you have a set just for your use? Share with faction? No, no. Maybe okay. you need to refresh it or something? Nope. No? Ah, uh, hang on. I I had no idea. Maybe you need to relog. 
Should be shared. It's every, everything shared. Yeah, I should just be able to. Uh, I always find Space Engineers does get funky with this, though. Yes. Because it's not bringing up the the menu that it normally should. How many superconductors do I need? It's working on something. Okay. I think it's broken. In fact, I don't think it's broken. <laughs> Back. Uh. So you, you you're you're trying to support up my room and it's not working. Yeah. So I'm I'm literally um I'm either committing suicide. All right. You know what? I'm gonna against better judgment. I'll turn off this med bay. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? All right. It's off. I got it marked. I mean, either way, I'm fucked because I don't have a mining ship. Right. Oh, okay. I'm in Mars orbit. I'm at my ship. Okay, so you apparently, it? yeah. Um, cool. Huh. So why in the fuck? Yeah, I spawned right. the. the uh, I spawned. <laughs> not in my bed bay. Why not in my med bay? I don't know. Uh, right. Hooray! Okay. So what are people... Uh, the joys of War Thunder suffering through shit teammates. You're playing War Thunder? You masochist. Yeah. I played it for my birthday. Hmm. Need quite a bit of gold. The stream's laggy, apparently. Huh. Uh, not sure it's my end. I've got green connection. Is it Twitch being? It looks fine. No, I haven't yeah. noticed anything. Weird. So, what are people up to today then? What are people people's plan? I'll take the dog Suffer. out for a walk later. Uh -huh. Suffer. I heard suffer. <laughs> good. Good. I try and get a bit of rim weld in later if I can. Ooh. Suffer, but differently. Mm. <laughs> Over here, going to crack on with the editing. Um, How's it going? Yeah, I think it's going okay. I uh, yeah. just need to try and get this next segment done. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a uh, bit of a behemoth. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel? Yes, there is. I, I'm. I'm. I. So I've, Mm -hmm. If you say the words I'm aiming to get finished before New Year, I'm driving down to Brighton, hitting you. <laughs> I I don't think I can. No, this is, yeah, no way. There's too much left. Good, because it's a ridiculous crunch time thing to do. Don't yeah. do it. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do a project this big again. Yeah. Cause, Until um, the next one. No, I think I got to head that off at the pass. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll see. We'll see how the. But what about DZ? Yeah, th th that's exactly my fear. Because that project never yeah, got done. In, it'll turn into your um, D and D. Yeah, and that. So that project. So again, I th this is in response to those, because I never finished those projects, and I, I think I never finished them because I stopped them. Yeah. And I stopped them. I lost the momentum. I forgot what I was doing. Other projects. Oh, I had to do this bullshittery and this one. Yeah. Sure. Like I'm, I'm soldiering on this one because I'm telling myself that if I stop. I'll mm -hmm. never restart it. Yeah. Yeah. It's dead, you know. You lose all the thought processes in your head that you think, oh, this is the joke that leads into this. Yeah. You need to set this up for this to pay off, like down the line. And then, yep. yeah. And then, uh, like, I'll, I'll worry. I'll look, watch it later and go, no, that's terrible. I need to rework that script, script entirely. Mm -hmm. I think it's get it done in one sitting or it's not going to get done. Yeah. But no, I think it's going okay. It's just, good, good. just, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. 
I, I've got like a whole, uh, as I mentioned, I've got a whole laundry list of shit that I need to do, like <laughs> outside the flat. Yeah. I need to purchase a copy of uh, Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey for a skit. I need to buy an axe and spray paint it orange, the same color as the axe in the forest. <laughs> right. I need to buy lots of false teeth. Right. There's going to be and a watch list at the end of this, wait, I have. this shopping spree, you realize. I need to buy false teeth, uh, teeth, uh, a whole bunch of feathers, an axe, and then spray painted orange. This is the most concerning you know, drag if, action if it, break. <laughs> I was going to say, Halloween was a couple of months ago. Yeah. I, if I need, you need a tooth, <laughs> I happen to have one. By the way. <laughs> yeah. But did they let you keep it? Mm -hmm. uh, I need to get in touch with someone who can do like uh, blender rendering stuff, like model making. Yeah. I need like a custom. I don't even know what I want to be honest. I need like a custom render so that I can animate it in something. But I'm gonna have to look into that because I have no idea what to do. Uh, I can. I know someone I can ask. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Can you send me some details? Maybe do they do commissions? I'll I'll ask them. It's a it's a friend of uh, me and Q. Cool. I will happily pay them for their time. Right, you. I mean, what but... you've basically described is the shopping list of walking down the middle aisle at Lidl on any particular mm. day. So, what, I need a the hacksaw, bins? a trombone, and uh, I need a Quran. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you um, sure you're you're gonna I... get fucking what's it a fatwa against you? What else do I need? Hang on a second. I need. What's my shopping list? Just opening up Evernote. Uh, to do list. Here we go. <laughs> right. Uh, it's not opening. Is there a problem with my internet? It's telling you to stop. Uh, right. Get rid I'd like to say big good morning to all our GCHQ viewers out there this morning as yep. well. So I need to buy an axe, buy spray paint, buy buy prop blood, a prop skull, get uh, false teeth, get feathers, get glue, talk to my mum and go to record something in her house. I need to rant and rave up and down the beach. I need to commission an actress to chase her with the axe while she's screaming. I need to buy a, Quran, <laughs> sorry, wait, 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 buy a holy Bible. <laughs> sorry, sorry, stop, stop. Roll back a bit. <laughs> right. Okay, the, the first thing I want to say is that what you're doing is the the police need to be informed. <laughs> Have you put uh, money GoPro, aside? Just, yeah. GoPro, uh, head strap for GoPro question mark, because I don't know if I need my hands free for the skit that I need to record. Um, foam shark? What's the foam shark for? <laughs> 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 Why did I put that there? Um... Is that not for the fact later. of uh, sharks being on a beach or something? I don't know. I think that might be an old note. Hang on. <laughs> um, commission blender animation question mark. Don't know what I want. Um, box set of Columbo. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, is some very dear. old notes. Yes. Are you sure you're not like just this isn't your dream diary or something like that? Can you uh, can you add on to that, please? A carbon monoxide detector. <laughs> Uh, and a cuddly toy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a film shark, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that that's yeah. That's just some of the shit that's like yeah. got into my notes. Why not use Lulu's giant uh, fish pl plush as the film shark? I need to check my notes to find out oh. what what my logic was there. It's a good thing you were staying focused, Wobble. That's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. So, so not much to do then. Yeah. Three yeah. A four sides of shopping and yeah. Yes. Also, why are you ranting up and down the beach and chasing chasing people? What uh, is it? Because it'll, it's a Saturday, you know. It'll be clear. It'll be clear. Hopefully, it'll be clear. Is is this is this going to be your first reveal? Is the police report? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just like in, in insert skits, you know, here, here, and here, or whatever. Right. I don't know. I, I I don't know. We'll see. It's all still nebulous. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to. <laughs> not much, you know. Yeah, yeah not much. The, the usual. Yeah. yeah. You know, just a speed running watch list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I've played weirder GTA 5 heist missions, yeah. but. Yeah. So social, have you got your shit back? 
Uh, yeah, it was Power Woo. of Mag saying that it sounds like the thing's off by default, so in order to be able to spawn there, I had to turn off the medbay I was spawning at, which isn't ideal if I'm home away from homing it. But yeah, I'm currently 50 kilometers away from you. Cool. I'm about to go um, into space, I think. Yeah, cool. We can meet up. I'll, um, yeah. I'll make sure everything's off. Hold on. Jump drive initiated. This thing is going to oh. drain the shit out of my power. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does, I think, 30 mega, uh, 32 megawatts is the, max megawatts? Char is the max charge rate. 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, turn it off for now then. Yeah, the my my station's off, so um, or my sh my factory ship is turned off because right. um, it doesn't have enough power. So yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good suggestion from Scalfy. Mm. What's that? You could have you could hire Sam and have her chase you up down the beach. <laughs> no, because she'll kill me. Then she'd also pay you for the privilege as well. So yeah, <laughs> saving money lie, and you would need to buy an axe. I was going to say, Zam, I think, already has an axe. Not yeah. for, like, any creepy things, but, you know, she works as a butcher and yeah, as a blacksmith, get... so... Yeah, you can get a skull as well, from the farm. Yeah. Alright, here I go. So I'm disconnecting. Let's see if my ship will pancake. Good luck, have fun. There we go. And away we go. I've just shot a T-3485 twice in the face, and it's done nothing. It's because the T-34 is the best tank of all time, or not. Are you, summon the are you summoning SWAT? <laughs> or Digby? Look, Russian tanks were rugged and reliable, okay? The internet has told yeah. me oh. this. I've been watching YouTube videos on intercepted phone calls from Russians, and it's really fucking depressing what yeah. they're saying. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the artillery one? Uh, Where it's off by half a kilometre, so he's shouting that he'll buy him anal beads and he can count on them. <laughs> what? It's an intercepted phone call from someone at the front to the artillery officer because he was off by half a kilometre. From where Fuck. the target was, and he was shouting and calling him an accountant, and that'll buy some anal beads so he can shove him up his arse and count him with that. <laughs> okay, what's the atmosphere edge of um of Mars? About fifty kilometers. I'm on atmosphere 5, edge of Mars, isn't that the ground? Well, you know, where space kicks in. Space. Oh, that's an ISU 152. Um, I don't know what DF is, uh, ninth. What's DF? Sorry, what's DF? What do you mean, what's DF? A game called DF. Yeah. Fortress. Oh, Dwarf Fortress. Oh, oh yeah, finally came it's come out, out on Steam. Steam. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. What? So, uh, so normie question: Why play Dwarf Fortress over RimWorld? Uh, what is, more? What does it do? It um, is like so it's the it's like the grandfather of RimWorld. It has RimWorld's features, but going to the nth degree. Um, yeah. It's been a passion project for like 15 years now, so it has got stupid amounts of like... There's a lot like, of attention to yeah. detail in it. Is it... Okay, I mean, can you be more specific? Like, what uh, feature set does it have that RimWorld does not? It's it's just RimWorld, but better, uh, is the best way that I can put it. Um, there's a lot more content in so where rimworld will have so many crops dwarf fortress will have more there's more workshops um the world is a lot more alive and a lot more history rich um, so it's a lot more granular in its detail as well yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. I'll, I'll send you a video or two about it okay 
yeah, that would probably be better than anything I could describe because yeah. I've struggled to pay enough attention to learn Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, it's a it's a review sort of it's telling stories about what happened, which I think gives a a, a decent look at just how in depth it can be. Okay. I don't know if it's a mod or part of the game, but there's like a certain set of land where it's cursed, so everything that dies comes back to life. Yeah, so one of the biomes is basically a cursed land where, yes, if, if anything dies, it comes back as a zombie that you have to kill later. Yeah. Hmm. Like a guy chops his hand off it in a accident. <laughs> the hand comes back to life and tries <laughs> to kill him. Yeah, yeah. It, but it it's just like, yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail when it comes to how the game world interacts with your dwarfs. A um, lot of different monsters. I don't know, just th there's a lot to it, and I find it hard to shoebox it into a statement. Okay. Yeah, it is, it's one of those few games where it's beyond a short description because it like I said, it's been someone's passion project for over a decade now. Okay, so I'm just passing... Twen almost approaching 21 kilometers above the surface of the world. Cool, well, I'm yeah. hanging out at one of the asteroids, but I don't have a, a thing that will call out, so you'll just have to find me. Yeah, you can just give me your cords. A beacon. So is it your big ship I can come and have a look at? Yeah. Cool, um, we can compare the dicks. Out <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the outside is finished, but uh, the inside still needs a little bit of work. Um, I'm just basically gripping my weapon systems together so I can turn them off. Don't grip your weapon too hard. Yeah. I think will happen. Yeah. You'll get uh, the death grip. What? <laughs> Is it called the death grip? What's it called? What? You know, you have trouble because, like, you do it too much. What? Not that I would know what it is. Uh, this, I think we're just going to call this an insight <laughs> into your life. <laughs> uh, move on. Yeah. A concern uh, is what it is. Yes. I, I'm only aware of the stranger. So, uh, yes. Ah, Someone the stranger, yes. yes. Is that where you, you give yourself a dead arm? Or, like, yeah, sit, sit on, on your hand? Yeah, yeah, sit yeah. on your hand for ages and then you can't yeah. feel it. That's, yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not that weird, no. <sighs> ah, dear. Happy Monday, everyone. Yeah. Right. Approaching the edge of space. <laughs> that's how space works, you see. There's just a hard yeah, boundary yeah. and then space. Is like there's, a, there's also space. a signpost there as well yep. that says space on a little asteroid. Yeah. Um, Hello. Hey, Hello. hey, Messi. If how Marvin are you, the Messi? Martian is Oh, uh, Messi! Oh my uh, god, it's THE Messi! Yeah! Uh, no. Uh. No. How is Percy? Uh, he's good. I just sent you a picture. Ooh. A thing on your phone? Of Percy? Yeah. He has a video. Doku. Uh, oh, he? look at him. Oh, look at that! <laughs> How's he handling the snow? Uh, asleep, mostly. No. Excellent. Correct procedure. Yeah, refusal to interact with it at any basis. <laughs> it is so he, fucking cold. He looks like an upside down yeah. fox. Uh, yeah, what? yeah, that does tend to happen a lot with yeah. corgs. He's so cute, look at him. Oh. But he loves the snow, which I. It, it's really cute, but I hate it anyway. Yeah. So he just, he tends to just go be like, come on, let's run around in the snow. And I'm uh -huh. just like, please, no. <laughs> Mercy. Can you uh, give the pictures a chat? Would they, would you feel? Uh, yes. Let me sure, just. Sure they'd love to yeah. see it. I yeah. have a different picture, a, a similar position, but. They run around in the snow, get cold, and then look at you to it's fix a... it. <laughs> Different picture, but still oh. similar sleeping position. Look at him. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's flopped. Yeah. Done a flop. 
<laughs> yeah, Lulu was like, yeah, she's like, she goes outside, she does a wee, and she's like, I want to go in now. <laughs> she's like, I've had, I had enough of this cold bullshit. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I woke up this morning and it's like the dog wanted to go outside, but I didn't. So, um, I, he just kind of jumped on the bed and cuddled up against me. And I'm just like, this is, this is Aww. great. Great. I love it. This is fine. Yes. And then he proceeded to get up out of bed by climbing over me. So then I was awake. And then fart. <laughs> no, no, he's actually been pretty good on the fart front. I don't know. Oh, he's doing it near Digby and I don't notice. <laughs> okay, I yeah. am now in space. First day. Mr. Social, can I come and see your ship, please? Yeah, uh, sure. Do you have coordinates? Uh, I do. Give me a sec. I'm trying to figure out sitting. what my power draw is, but uh, right, GPS. Okay. That's where I'm at at the moment. Showing on HUD. There you are. 35 kilometers. I am on my way, sir. Yeah, how you guys doing? I'm not spoken to most yeah. of you in ages. Good, just oh, cold. Can't complain. But this is the internet. Well, we're yeah. being very British and moaning a lot about the weather. So we are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's about right. I have to go outside in it and I don't want to. Took Chewy for a walk yesterday with uh, with Novi and Rosie. Ah. And he, she, oh. Rosie's like, you know, this sort of layered up in like three different fur coats on to keep her nice and uh, warm. And Chewie's rolling around in any puddle he can find his and get his hands on. <laughs> and then, of course, we get home and I have to hose him off out in the garden. And the look he gave me was, I'm not on his Christmas card list anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but Shit hosed him off, shoe. towelled him down. He just ran into the house, went and sat down in his bed by the radiator and sulked for a good hour. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's his lesson not to do it again. Indeed, yes. Okay. On my way towards you, Social. Okay, Doc. Um, all my guns are off, so um, you should be fine. Cool. Um, yeah, just come at me slow, just in case I've uh, missed any, because there's a few. Mm -hmm. I'd like no to worries. Come at you slow. <laughs> okay, hang on. How far away am I? Yeah, I'm just gonna run for a wee wee. Back in a second. This can oh, only go well. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Leaving a session unattended whilst going for a wee wee has been the wipe of many a Rimworld colony. Oh, yeah, and also the wipe of many uh, uh, space engineers. Indeed, yes. <laughs> oh. My spaceship seems to have inserted itself into this planet without permission. Hey, well, that sounds like space engineers. Yeah. How are you messy anyway? You all good? Yeah, good, just cold. Yeah, it is brisk, certainly. Yeah, I somehow managed to get myself employed in a kitchen that isn't actually warm. How? Which How? Is, How? Uh... It is a very open because it opens straight into the canteen with a very large door which connects it immediately to the outside. Right. And company has deemed heating unnecessary. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, but... Of course they've deemed it unnecessary, the yes. fucks. Yeah. Do they by any chance work somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, the offices are fully heated. It's just our location that isn't. Very That's nice strange how that works, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm now dressed so fully warm that when I have to go and uh, restock the freaking coffee machine over in the offices, 
um it's like i'm actually sweating because i'm wearing like five different layers to stay warm in the kitchen <laughs> and then i go over there and it's like fuck you know you're looking like the michelin woman at the moment when you're going to work uh yeah basically yeah, yeah uh the other day it was uh underwear and then a uh thermal shirt and then the work shirts and then a christmas jumper because we're allowed for it for the next <laughs> week and then the apron on front of that um and i was still cold <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty certain a Christmas jumper is supposed to be for like you know the 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 jovility of Christmas rather than actual necessary bodily warming though. To yeah. Be fair. Um, I mean, yeah, but I also, also like it. Also, you only allowed like... it for this week, for next mm. week. Yeah, basically. I'm going to wear my Christmas down jacket to work today. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has to be very specific jumpers because they're not allowed, you know, glitter and stuff. Because you know, working with food. Uh, they use much edible glitter in Christmas jumpers. Ah, oh dear. And I'm back. Fun wee wee? Yeah. 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 Full success. Yeah. Um. Yeah, not much is really going on right now. Just bloody freezing. Uh, <laughs> the summary of everyone's yeah. day, really, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for the the parcel thing, Messi. I don't know what that's about. Uh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. it, it's it, it's a little bit entertaining, though. It's just like opening yeah. the letters, like, hello, uh, the, the gift for you after your Christmas swim. And I'm just like, so I got someone else's gift. Yeah. And that person <laughs> no. is also slightly a madman because who would swim outside <laughs> in this weather? She she got two parcels delivered. So I've got to open up a ticket with the the, the, the website that I use to say like she's got the, someone else's packet. Oh no! It's kind of like great. And this happened last year as well. Do you remember? Yeah. They no, fucked last up your year, order last year. I, I think something didn't arrive or it arrived broken. Yeah, or something. something like that. Yeah, because I had to reorder it, it. Yeah. It's weird. Um, social five k away in closing. Cool. Sounds good. Oh, Sophia, for you, mm -hmm. is uh, Boo still okay? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Reem, if you start getting shot at. Is Boo still okay? I like that type of yeah, question. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Of course it's um. okay. <laughs> <laughs> they smashed half his whiskey collection on Saturday, so that needs topping up. So yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's my whiskey collection. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to see your whiskey collection. He still I don't have one. I've drank it all. Oh, okay. Social, can you believe this? He still hasn't sent me the whiskey from Wedding oh, wow. Yes, I need to do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. The trick is, I'm not going to give you my address. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. Hello, Social. Hello, hello. My turrets are also similarly off. That is good. I think. I'm glad you see it in the most suspicious ways possible. Um, although I do have some front guns, are they definitely off? Hello, I mean, if you open fire, I'll <laughs> whack mine on, and I'm pretty sure I'll win. Yes, oh, Hello. we're in the same faction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't have to worry. Hi. Hello. Uh, sorry, I'm producing detector components because uh, I lost my mining ship. Oh, wait, we, oh, are we doing the Star Trek thing? We, we've got to approach on the exact same plane. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely not on the exact same plane as uh, you. Are we on the same plane right now? Otherwise it doesn't work on like a on, on the screen? I don't know. Okay. Ooh, nice looking ship. Hang on. Yeah, it's my have factory you, ship. Have you stolen a satellite? What is that on your left? Uh, it's a jump drive module. Is that the James Webb telescope? <laughs> <laughs> have you stolen I mean, the James I... Webb? Hey, it didn't have it's... a flag on it. So. What, you haven't? Uh, it's a jump drive module, um, but I've turned it off for the time being. You have a flag. No, no flag, flag, no, no telescope. telescope. <laughs> That's how it works. But these rules that I've just oh. made up right now. <laughs> I am pulling up alongside you now. 
I uh, just shared a link of a Christmas jumper I found that is far too accurate for uh, owning a corgi. Oh, hang on, this is in TeamSpeak. Hang on. It's not the yes. size, chat. <laughs> it's the yes. girth. Accurate. <laughs> There we go. Yes, it's not the length, it's about the girth. Why does, uh -huh. yours, have, why does yours have a silhouette of a cock and balls? <laughs> it's, uh, not, it's not the length, it's the enthusiasm of the engine. Yeah. yeah. Ah, let's kind of go cool look. There appears to be another vessel off our port, off port side. Not the length or the girth or the motion of the ocean. It's whether it can stay in harbour till all passengers have disembarked. <laughs> cool. Permission to come aboard, sir? There isn't much interior on this one, um, because I needed to get it moving. The I was mating out the area that I was in, uh -huh. so I'm not. I'll probably rip the front of it off again. Again. Yeah, I I am a sucker for yeah. not liking what I do. Is that is that meant to happen? Oh god, there's a laser. Uh, dude, you just shot me. So dude, dude, you shoot me. Dude. Dude. Oh, dude, you just shot me. <laughs> Is that you? Dude. You jumped into the Switch off the laser, dude. Why? I was shooting above you. Okay, cool. Just checking. Sorry, I, th I, thought, I thought your AI was opening fire on me. Why? Why, Why would you jump in front of the I was laser? Trying to, I was trying to grind it before it could destroy my ship. Dude, dude, come on, it. stop doing it, dude. Okay. okay. Uh, there's no shield on this. There's no shield. Oh, is it? oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I Seriously, you're gonna shield. blow it up. That's fine. It's uh, it's off. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Yeah. Can I come on board? Yeah, sure. Where's your Where's your entrance? Yeah. See, that's the question. What social? Uh, where, where, where's the entrance? Yeah. Where? No. Where is it? Are you asking uh, how you get into social? Yeah, yeah. how do yeah. you get into the ship? Uh, so at the well, yeah, there's oh. at the front of the ship where it's mostly welded. So you're at the back of the ship. I okay. know it, there isn't really much differentiating the back from the front, Ooh, but cool. That's, yeah. Um, so the front of the ship just has braking thrusters and two um, drone hangar bays. Mm -hmm. Um. And then on top is a set of hangar doors. So um, at the moment, that's the only way we can get in is via the hangar. May open the doors. Sure. So there's no, there's not. You don't have like an interior. Uh, I do, but it's a very small one. Cool. I, mean, so, I see. Ah. Can I come in? Yeah. Ah, cool. Where's your gravity? Uh, it's a factory ship. There is no gravity. Cool. But yeah, so the idea is is that I'll keep this, but I need to do some more dress work in here. I kind of just got it ready so that yeah. I could fly. Um, so there's just like a go around the corner, there's a medical bay, and then oh. go up. There's a um, cockpit. There's no real design work in here. Yeah, okay. I see. It's all been uh, just yeah. kind of thrown together so I can get going. Yeah, show me the outside. Walk me through it. I've walked yeah, walk the sure. chat through it, which I'd love to see it. Hang on. Oops. So, I do need to get gravity in the front because it would help uh, movement so much. Ah, uh, with your floor. Sorry, I've gone up accidentally. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like I say, it'd be good to have gravity. There we go, and then forward. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, so yes. Yep. Your frame rate is a bit. All over the place. Yeah, it's Space Engineers, isn't it? But so that's in game, that's not straight. Yeah. Cause... Cool. So walk me through it, social. Yeah, so the front of the section is just a bunch of um mm. deuterium based fusion um thrusters to help okay. break on the dime in case I'm running towards an asteroid. Uh -huh. Uh, the two hangar bays in front are 10k range drones, Ooh. so um, I can basically launch them from far out and they will harass. Well, is, uh, that, is that a mod thing? It's a mod thing. Okay. 
uh, on top and on bottom are um, three variable lasers which are good for light aircraft and then there's a 240 mm cannon on the back this isn't really a combat ship it's just this will take down light craft pretty quickly mm -hmm. um so once you get past the hangar bay section this midsection is my um refining wing so there's eight refineries four assemblers all with yield mm -hmm. um mods on them and this is where the build and repair system is housed. On the back section, you get my storage. There's some oxygen generation, and there is also deuterium generation for power. Mm -hmm. um, there's also some small auto cannons kicking around just for some uh, added defense. Uh, that's the M240 cannon on the back, which uh, will take out heavier targets if they present themselves, but I don't have much ammunition for it at the moment, so mm -hmm. I don't tend to turn them on. There is a 62 megawatt reactor hidden in the housing behind this thruster. I like what you've done here with the girders. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if I cool. knock, if I turn this, if I turn it on uh -huh. with, so I've got two two thrusters essentially. The the fusion ones are for dealing with. Um, well, let me just convert it back and I'll show you. So. The, the, the info ship. There we go. Right. So I have. Uh, Set five. So I've got mm -hmm. these thrusters here, which would be for just standard breaking away. Now I don't seem to be going anywhere, but I think that's because the satellite is also a station. Could you go onto the the wee satellite and just uh, turn it off from being a station? If uh, yes. So this thing here yeah that thing there i think it's a station so uh convert to station it, they're but they're both blanked out for me oh weird uh, maybe i need to disconnect it try now should i disconnect it from your vessel okay hang on Whoop. Uh, yeah uh no it won't let me convert anything oh uh, fine um because i'm not the owner if you sure yeah hop in the cockpit and then just uh pull it away from the station as because uh, sure. Ouch. Low health. There we go. Hang on. Yeah, and just pull it away. Uh, it's doing the magnetic. It's got no engines on it. Oh, it does. It does? Yeah. Are they switched off? Hang on. Thrusters. They might be switched off. They're off. Hang on. There you go. Oof. Hang on. Let me just. Oof. Damn. Yeah. It's. Oh, wait. Yeah, and then. To P again, and you should be able to break away. Can you press P? There we go. Cool. And then convert it to station. Uh, I mean, it's fine as it is. It's got yeah. gyro. So yeah. So the thrusters that I have at the moment will only send the ship kind of that acceleration, not too fast. When mm. I enable on the back. Whoa, there's some sort of, like, gravity effect on, that's pulling me? Ooh, wow, that's cool. So that's me up at 100. Yeah. And that's so, me stopped. What's so that engine? Was that some sort of mod? Yeah, it's a fusion engine. It's based on deuterium fuel, which I don't have much of. But basically, the way the factory ship works is that when I want to accelerate quickly and then just coast, I'll enable the plasma. When I want to very oh, slowly come back into you know, dock up with something, I'll enable the um, armoured ones, which are a bit slower. I didn't know my relative dampeners were actually trying to keep pace with you, even though I wasn't on your ship. Alright, That's cool. strange. I've never seen that before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've not seen that type of engine before. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I love that. Yeah, I just love the... the Design of the, the the Talon type engine you've got there. It's very cool, man. Does it have a name? It's Thanks. just the factory ship at the moment. Did you give it a name? Um, yeah. Once I've decked out the interior and finished it, I'll probably put something on the side of where the hangar is. But mm. the idea is I can take this to here, have a mining ship attached, go mine, load this thing up to its bunkers are full, 
and it's used to build other things, but I can just take it wherever I want. I think I can take it into the atmosphere, but I don't want to try it just yet. Because yeah. I need to do some math. Mm. Yeah, it's very nice. Can I show yeah. you my one? Yeah, let me uh, hop out of the control. Mm. The only thing is it takes fucking ages to get outside from the cockpit. So I'll probably take the whole front of this off again and... When I have more energy, I'll uh, properly dress it up mm -hmm. into something more interesting. But uh, yeah, for the time being, that'll work. Anyway, right, Meridian. So... Yeah, so this is the Meridian Mark IV. So what I've done on the outside is, can you see this back section with the thrusters? Mm -hmm. So pretend that I basically cut the ship in half, like a magician, you know, sawing a woman in half. Like, this is the front bit that you, the, of, of old, and then this is the back bit of old. And all I did was insert this middle, like, almost like pregnant section here. Yeah, And so I made an empty frame initially to just get the rough shape, and then I started filling in with both a lower and an upper deck. So essentially, I'm sort of adding to the ship segment by segment. So now, have a look at this. So on its underside, when it lands, this ramp should be gently touching the ground. Come aboard. Oops, it's a bit laggy. So if you just hit the button... two times art artificial gravity as well. Uh, yeah, what's that about? That shouldn't that shouldn't be on. Hang on. Uh, sorry, one minute. Weird. Um, okay, so um, yes, if you just hit the red button without hitting the doors. So airlock cycling, then step on through. Cool, and then you can lift your visor because it's pressurized. Nice. So this is the middle section, the newer one. Uh, so it's yeah. got a, an, its own private airlock. Above us is the jump drive and the uh, the refineries and stuff. And then up here, we have the main like crew area, essentially, with the med bay, uh, with the med bay and some mess tables and some and some storage and stuff. And there's the the bed and the toilet. And then through this door is the old engineering section. Which um, hang on, there you go. So back there, open to atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, should have warned you. Um, so yeah, that's the old engineering section where everything was before. So everything is pretty much unchanged. If you come through. Oh, sorry. I'll let you do it. And yeah, and then through here is the old front section. God, my frame rate. I wonder why your frame rate is bad because yeah. mine is smooth as butter. Weird. Yeah, yeah, so this is all the different versions of the Meridian. Yeah, so beneath us we've got the large reactor and the large cargo bay, which is now sort of viewable from above. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then it, yeah, each projector has versions one to four. So if you see the evolution of the design into so section one was this just this one? Remember this this tiny ship that I had on that planet that we were making. Yeah, and the, this was just based off of the respawn ship, wasn't it? I think it was, yeah. So I, I, I based its design on it initially. And then this was Mark II, where it turned into a chonky, got heavy. Yeah. Then this was Mark III, where I put the two pontoons on the front, which uh, were two, two downward-facing hydrogen thrusters. And then this is the current design, so the pregnant version. So, yeah. Yeah, with a bunch of scraping drills. Uh, yep, but that's just like to get it ice so it can take off. Yeah, I'll sh I'll remove that entirely. But yeah, this is the Meridian. Nice Mark Four now, version four. <laughs> I think she's coming on a bit. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm uh... gonna consider the Mark Five next time we play. Probably expand the the rear, get it like a big big ass. I think. But yeah, it's my baby. Yeah. I just have a thing where I like to kind of build something new, like that factory ship, and just kind of morph it bit by bit. Because I just kind of started with a, I need like a fuck ton of refineries to process materials, and then just went, well, I could build a ship around a core of that, yeah, and then just take it, take it around, and rather than building in a jump drive, I like doing jump modules so that I can just. Like, have I... Put this. I can basically put it onto any ship and it will jump away and I can leave it in orbit Yeah. so it can charge using the solar panels and, and then like a stargate almost yeah 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 it's it's a bit like um you know the the Star Wars uh A-wings 
in the Clone Wars, where yeah. they had like the weird ring thing that seems to help them go to hyperspace. Oh, that, that was yeah, in the hyperspace engine. Phantom Menace yeah. or whatever it was. Clone yeah. Wars. Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's that kind of idea where you, you can just have that. And then, so that's how I brought the brick to your base originally, was by that module. The brick just dumped it up here, and then the brick went down and back up and then jumped home again. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. I love the engine the thing. Yeah, um, I saw the plasma. That's not even the biggest one. That's that's the medium-sized one. Um, <laughs> But but I don't think I need any more than that because I can already go up to hundreds pretty damn quick. So yeah, but the the guns are pretty effective when there's something to shoot at because the the laser ones can do a reasonable amount of damage um, to to light blocks. Mm. Um, I've got about what there's eight, there's sixteen, thirty-two point defense guns mm. scattered around. Yeah, um, I'm gonna look from this window. And then all the guns. I'm jumping off and grabbing some lunch. Have a fun one, all. Have a good one. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. I've just gotten back. The uh, the procession was outside. Procession. The neighbor's funeral. Oh. Funeral? Sorry, who? A neighbor and family friend. Oh shit. Mm. That's sucks. Sorry to hear it. Um. Yeah, but very nice ship though, Social. Yes. Very cool. It needs a name though. You need to give it a name. Yeah. Chat. I always tend to call them like the Von Krieger when I do a factory ship. Uh... How about the Meridian? Yeah. What about... I'm just trying to think. Yeah. What about the Dragon or something? Dragon. Storm. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, well, Hold actually, on. you might be able to see my um, oh, shit. Who, point do, defense. Oh, shit. Do, do, do. So, oh, sorry. I forgot episode. your. I'm in your engine section getting out because. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look. Oh, Maybe yeah. he's going to work. Cool. Or has gone to work. I think they're gone. <laughs> yeah, nice ship. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know if there's any more asteroids actually. I think your laser's got them all. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> But yeah, so this is kind of here for the meantime, whilst I uh, build up the banks for its um, minerals, because it was kind of running low back at back at the base. So uh, the chat suggests uh, the Hodor, the Bad Dragon, the dil Dildo Conqueror, uh, not a lobster? What? I don't know. You need a proper name. You can't just call it the factory ship. Let's call it Bertha, I guess. Bertha? Yeah, Bertha's good. Look, I'm bigger than you. It's not the size. It's clearly the girth, not the length. I saw that you're drifting into me. I know. Okay, you wanna you wanna race? <laughs> I've already got hydrogen. Alright, let me. Alright, ready? Ready, 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 ready. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready, I just, ready. I want, I, want, I want to get some fucking distance from you. Better you better not ram me. <laughs> no, I just want to get away from. No, you're trying to get a head start. No, no, no. You're no, wait, trying to get wait, a head start. No, 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 no. Right, no, okay, no, ready? No. Wait, no, wait. Which, which way? Oh, wait, no. I, I'm the wrong way around. Hold on. Go, 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 go. No, no, hold on. <laughs> right. Toss her. Yeah, no, the reason I'm moving back is because. Uh, yeah, my ship wasn't facing forward <laughs> compared to yours. Now it is. Uh, Ready? Right. Right, hold on, hold on. Let me... Uh, yeah, ready. Three, two, one, go! Uh. Oh, God damn really? it. I left the thrusters on my brick. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Unleash the drones. The Meridian is victorious. Hold on. The Meridian stands supreme. Okay. Oh god. No, 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 no. The Meridian's getting shot at. <laughs> Impressive range on the lasers. Yeah. Um, 
Hold on. I might be able to hit your engine. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, it's cool, though. Right, Rising. I need to just have You're a quick arranged. scoot around looking for yeah. a bit of uranium. Uh, social? Yeah. I don't know how to use your magic Gaelic words, but that, that's a name for you. I would just say sorry, I'm in, I'm in the game, so it's... It's in, it's in TS. I, I, oh. don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, birth is cool. Yeah, I don't know, I'll think of proper name and stencil on the side. Um, uh, the only problem is when I'm docked with other ships, I have to knock their engines off, otherwise they'll... Uh, they'll counteract any forward thrust I create. Which is kind of annoying, but mm. is what it is. But yeah. Right, so you went forward, didn't you? Uh, yes, but I've just uh, headed to a nearby asteroid. I need to get my radio beacon on because it's currently unfinished. Uh, do I have Are you sure you want your radio beacon on with a social hunt? <laughs> Hang on, can I get it finished? Oh, hold on, picking you up on radar. Oh yeah, you got a radar? Is that a mod? No, just uh, really? the the warfare thing that uh, oh, highlights cool. you as a as a you are somewhere over there. Really? It's a, there's there's a radar in in the base game. Yeah, it's to focus on ships. Cool. I need to have a look at it. Enemy combatant detected. How, what's the range on it? Uh, I don't know. Sight, I guess. Cool. Though, so I've kind of lost you. Uh, I just moved ahead and then turned to the right ish to drive towards an asteroid. Uh, so Luna says about two kilometers away. I'm way beyond that, I think. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, so that's the factory ship anyway, so when I'll probably get it painted and then I need to work on the next project, which I think will be um, some sort of base. Cool. Um, I need to find out if I can put this uh, on the surface though, because ideal it would be bringing it down after mining fuck tons of resources. Yeah. You should get some parachutes on it, just in case. And then the problem is that when it gets stuck down on Earth or Mars. Yeah. Oh, is that you? You see my engine wash? Uh. Uh, let me just get my radio on. Hang on. Uh, there's. Oh, I found some ice. Wonderful. Marking. One second. Uh. Oops. Just seeing what my radio antenna requires in order to be finished. Also, hi there for everyone in the chat. I hope you're okay. Uh, 40 radio uh, comp units. Okay. Fly over here. Whee! Yeah, my frame rate is very low. Okay. Anyway, for those just joining, I hope you're having a nice day today. Um, please know that the latest bullshittery is uh, not being worked on, I'm afraid. I'm doing a video essay instead, and it's taking forever. Okay. Hang on a minute. Radio components. Also need to get some more batteries on this thing. Uh, no, it's a very sleepy French bulldog, Rosa. 
Her name is Lulu, and she's a spoilt pup. She knows nothing of hardship. Hang on. Feel better soon, bloody butler. Okay, my radio is now online. Okay. Broadcast range has been up to 50k. Can you see me? Well, I think I'm too far now. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, no, I'm 18 kilometers away. Uh -huh. But I need to head off. I've got working again. And no uh, I've got a meeting to attend, so... Food times, I just kind of want the day to be over. Uh, is it another meeting during your lunchtime? No, no, this is my lunchtime. Um, so it's it's fine. Uh, it was funny, I, uh, when I joined the meeting, the, my boss hadn't been in there, and the client actually told them off for making me attend the meeting in my lunchtime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we've got good kind of working relationship with them, yeah. so it's all kind of in jest. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think I'm going to go build a mining ship, and then I need to build a base, but I'm not sure what kind of base I want to build. wonder if you call it Red Wolf. Build, build, <laughs> build one that's sort of built around the frame, like a scaffold, so you can park it inside and it'll look cool. Yeah, it's just whether or not that's up here or down, down on a planet. I just need to run some quick math, actually. So I've currently got about 3 million kilograms so 3000 tons so 3000 kilograms let's get that into newtons look at this guy figuring stuff out before he builds it it's almost like he's an engineer that's what a not... try hard yeah sweaty wow. just build it 20... and if it blows up it doesn't work yeah 20 29 mega yeah. newtons either it goes well or you got a good clip yeah yeah, no, I've, I've worked really hard on building this thing. It was a huge investment. Uh, right, so 33 mega newtons. So my plasma can just do it in vacuum. Nah, can't fly an atmos. Good to know, though. Um, so what does that radar thingy do? Uh, it's just like a lock-on thing for your turrets, so that when you've got multiple contacts, you can focus on just one. Okay, that's what it. Does... That's it. Oh. Uh, I think there are, there is a radar. Hold on, let me. No, 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 no. Put the helmet back on. What's that thing that says uh, Mayday? Oh. Uh, it's a space pirate thing. Yeah, you go towards it. D do I get attacked? Yeah, there we go. No. There is, there is a Doppler radar, which is a mod weapon that allows for non-offensive systems designed for recon and scouting of enemy grids via scroll wheel scanning at thirty kilometer range. So you can kind of ping or an area, I guess. So is this a mod thing? It's a mod that thing. That one is. Cool. Right, Thank so, you. I'm like, you wanted me to call it, what was it? Uh, Thank you, Demo. Uh, Thank you very much, Demo. Knuckle of e. No idea what that is. It's Scottish folklore, so there you go. Ah, oh, fair enough. Right, I'm heading. Everyone have fun. Bye. Catch you all this have evening. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Guess I'm the social substitute then. Hey, Swap. Guten Tag. How are you? Are you good with maths? Uh, I just... Depends on what math we're talking about. <laughs> it doesn't involve anime girls. Uh, then uh, no. <laughs> Tax deductible waifus. Tax deductible oh, yeah. waifus, yes. Also Don't Unfortunately, the, the real life ones aren't tax deductible, yeah. but the ones in game are, so all good. <laughs> I thought the gifts were tax deductible. Uh, incredible. How are you, sir? I, uh, I woke up like an hour ago because um, my sleep schedule is completely fucked, and I was at a family gathering yesterday. Had a bit too much beer. Oh. The best type of family gathering. Yeah. Hmm. Swat, you've inspired me. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That is, that's never a good thing when people say that. Yeah. To I do what? Oh, God, no! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Why does no one listen to me? 
<laughs> I'm currently playing 5.0 Swedish. People see me complain, rant, lose my fucking mind, and the first thought that crosses their mind is, hmm, it looks kind of fun. Yeah, I should I probably install that game. Yeah, they'll, look at, they'll look at you and go, yeah, I can do that. I can't fucking believe it. Oh my god. But War Thunder sounds amazing. I... You should play it, Bumble. Yeah. Use the uh, code. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Honest, honestly, though, in install it. I'll, I'll drive you around in a tank. Or you have to drive yourself around. It would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, it doesn't look like my thing. <laughs> yeah. Lo low tier is still fun. It yeah. it gets progressively more annoying. That's the thing, right? There's the, it's the whole monetization scheme. Uh, there was like a plugin for uh, World of Tanks where everyone could see like your nickname on the map. So streamers would just get absolutely targeted all the time because yeah. you could see them immediately. Oh, they that, actually that guy. Th they actually have a system now in game where it randomizes your username every match. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. You can actually just, uh, yeah, do it that. Was, it was only the people who were, like, insanely good that could actually deal with it. The rest just got, yeah, stopped. So, basically 99% of streamers. I, I see a comment stopped. I see a comment in chat, and I clearly don't get the reference, because someone said, what is the Cassandra of ZF? Who the fuck is Cassandra? Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra. From the what? Name, from what? The name rings a bell, but I Yeah, from what from franchise where. is that a reference? What? Rimworld? Great. Great oh, Rimworld. Yeah, she's one of the AI uh, directors of Rimworld? Cassandra, Cassandra of Troy. Oh no, someone someone says Greek mythology. Is that, is that just right? Rimworld, everyone else in chat. Greek mythology. Close Wait, enough. It, Almost the same thing. <laughs> isn't that the one that started the war because she kept trying to bang people? Uh, you might need to narrow it down, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, yeah. Well, we're talking about Cassandra of Troy. Is that uh, Hel no, Helen no, of Troy? No. Helen? No, Helen no, no, of no. Troy is the one that was that. Helena of Troy is the one that... No, no Helena is the one that got fucking abducted, right? That started the whole yeah. shit. Cassandra was the... Oh, she started it by getting abducted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10 victim blaming here. Excuse yeah, me. Not the dude who did the abducting. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I mean, she was asking for it, right? Anyway. <laughs> she She's minding her own business. <laughs> you look like you could start a, a war, lady. Yoink. Yep. Right, <laughs> oh. I have a anyway. meeting. Have a good one. It should prove interesting. Oh yeah, it, it is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, I, I, Cassandra, have a good one. The bye. Oracle. Oh, bye. Cassandra, the Oracle, where she was cursed with prophetic visions, but no one would believe her. Ah. Ah yes. Uh, so if you just order you some huh? stuff, and it should be arriving in the next couple oh, of days. Oh, thank you sincerely. Thank you very much. Yeah, booze, as usual. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Let's so. go. Merry Christmas to you two. Yes, Merry thank Christmas. Thank you. I would... Ah, oh, no. Uh, you're not in... Ah, oh, you fucks are not in the EU anymore. I can't just easily send yeah. you stuff, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Thank you. Is there alcohol you can get in a penis shit bottle? Yeah, we have a... We, we've got a private cask of whiskey that just came in, and we have, like... 40 something odd liters of like personal whiskey now. I just a bunch yeah. of bottles. I could just send you some, but I don't know what the import and yeah. export restrictions <laughs> are now. Because previously this would have been okay ish, I think. But... I was going to say, doing alcohol uh... across borders, I think you need a big company for that. Yeah, that's a problem usually. Yeah. <sighs> it's Matt, annoying. Matt just sent me a package the other day and uh, couldn't send any booze over no, for Digby uh, yeah. because it's just too much of a pain now. God, it's annoying. I had the same, apparently Canada, I wanted to send Ari some shit because she's always drinking the cheapest fucking alcohol she can get. I was like, no worries, I'll get you an alcohol care package. And then I looked up the import restrictions in Canada and I was fucking dumbfounded. Canada is so fucking strict with it. You can't ship alcohol within the country. Why? Not to mention uh, into it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> within it, you as can't. in different provinces. Yes, as yes. Why? Yep. I, I don't know. Need a fucking license for it. You need to be a whole fucking alcohol shipping company for that. For some reason, I don't know. Don't ask me. It is apparently doable over like it, it's unnecessarily expensive and convoluted. But yeah, it's apparently really crazy. Oh yeah, all our liquor is provincially controlled in Canada. It's crazy backwards, says someone in chat. Yeah, you can't send it from one province to the fucking next. 
in sounds... within Canada. Is mm. Canada? No, that's Sweden. I'm thinking of where it's all government owned. Ah, uh, sustainable agate. Yes, that's but like Norway and Sweden, I think, use the same system there, where um, it's a it's one government controlled store, and it is ridiculously expensive. Hmm. Dwight is feeling very passionate about the distribution of alcohol. I am German, after all. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait until so you hear his opinions on sausages. Hmm. I, th I actually think most sausages are kind of overrated. I'm not the biggest sausage fan. No, you need that. You need it minced and then chopped up and raw. Yeah, yeah. raw minced pork is actually pretty good, unironically. Ludi's gonna hate what I'm about to do. Are you cleaning her ears? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw the scratching and she's like, "Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh -oh. coming." Uh -oh. is, that, is, that, is that gonna be an afternoon of wrestling her? No, watch this. So, so she might pull a stupid face because I've got these. Um, hang on. So I've got these wet wipes that go on the end of your finger like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and get in there. And sometimes, if I can get the spot she really likes, she just pulls this ridiculous face. Hang on. So for Christmas, you cosplay your uh, doctor. Yeah. Fingers where you don't really don't want them. Only one finger though. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nope, she doesn't like that. The annoying part about animals, you can't tell them that, you know, it's it's gonna be over in a second, I'm doing this for you, right? It's like, it's, it's okay, it's, it's about to get better, just wait a second. I had the same problem with my father's dog. The difference is my father's dog is like a greater Swiss mountain dog and is about... 10 times the size as Lulu, so Oof. that one that one is a bit uh, if he doesn't want anything to happen um, <laughs> yeah, yeah it doesn't happen tough fucking luck <laughs> nah she's not having it no I'll get yeah. her later when she's tired you look like a little old lady yeah she's turning to my old lady yeah, yeah. that's why you need to hurry up with the bungalow I know. Get, get, get new, new house and get her big garden to run around yeah. in. Yeah. She'd like that. Dig holes. Yeah. Preferably some place where you won't find it until it's way too late to punish her and he'll, she'll understand where it's for. What do you mean, sorry? Oh, uh, just, you know, digging holes. Oh, I see. Ah, she loves it. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. That's been forever. Good song though, still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I can I hear Digby being in the can I hear him in the background? Like uh, just yeah. like faintly. I just it sounds like I don't know if he's complaining about something, but he's uh he's playing DCS World, so it he's complaining might not... about something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is he still flying the Harrier? I always see him fly the Harrier. Uh, this man needs to get into a different aircraft for once. I don't, I don't nope, he's flying the Harrier. Never mind. I'll explain that. Uh, yeah, no, he's been raising money for uh, charity, so uh, that's uh. Been really cool. Oh, let's go. Um, oh, it's it, awesome. In Space Engineers, sorry, what is that Mayday signal that I keep seeing appear? Well, go to it and find out. Is it going to attack me? I don't know. I'm Getting not a psychic. Down. Getting my damn you... guns on. Last time I did anything modern than space engineers, it usually ended up with Naughty crashing into me, so, um, yeah. I've, I've not touched it this time round. That's just Naughty, though. That's how he is. Yeah, he's been turning up again, though, so it's good to see him again. Yeah, I, th I think yeah. I think it's uh, getting a bit, uh, you know, things calming down IRL, I think. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. I'm glad. Yeah, same. I've, I missed him. Yeah, we want our naughty. We, 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 we want Jeremy back. <laughs> Hashtag free ostrich. Free the ostrich. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, busy shit in real life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I relate to that. How does one order their guns to open fire in Space Engineers? Does anyone know? You tell them in an overly British uh, accent to open. Yeah. <laughs> so get full to, to tell them to line up and fire. I don't know. 
Wait until you see the whites of their eyes. Yeah, exactly. Assault <laughs> cannons. Oh, hang on. Oh, my gun's just fired. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Wow. Do I have my artillery turrets on? Holy shit. Pew pew. Pew pew. Let's go. Wow. God, it has been a while, isn't it? So excited to blow his load. <laughs> it's very cool can't, sounding. You can't do the man like that, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just the slightest feeling of action he's already blowing. Incredible. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's coming yeah. at me. Fuck. Oh, I see it. Whoa! The Meridian's got goddamn teeth. I'm not sure how I order my main guns, though. Are they on? Powered uh, on? Hang on. Yeah, that is a question as well. You've just turned up to a Mayday signal and opened fire. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> we, we did, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> how do I... Artillery? Did... what? <laughs> to be fair, that is basically... I, how ZF uranium. got found it though, didn't it? It's like, you are hi, being, I, I, mean, I need help. Hi, let me kill you. Uh, you are so, being rescued. Please do not resist. It's certainly one way of interpreting the phrase first responder. Oh, cool, the debris falling as it enters my gravity well. Just remember to paint a red cross, cross on each photon torpedo. <clears throat> These are surgical torpedoes. <laughs> so can I physically grab it? One of my landing legs? So what are you going to do about the capital ship? The what? The capital ship. That turns up. <laughs> Funny man. Incredibly funny man. How can I grab it? Hmm. Oh, grab oh. It? I opened too many Firefox tabs again. Not good. How, how, it, how much we at? I'm trying to keep them below 100. It's like my... I'm, I'm trying to not go above 400 again. <laughs> like yeah, previously. I, I saw a post on Reddit of someone who lost like 1500 tabs. And I'm just like... What, how? How do you even keep track? What have you got? Have you ever opened, like, the first ten? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, 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 I basically use it partially like bookmarks, right? So I keep a lot of, I, I, I read a lot of stuff on the internet, right? And a lot of information that I find, I might not need today, but in the future, right? In the near future, even far future. So if it's, like, really far future... I'm like, I'll, I'll save it, like, but, either as a bookmark or offline. But, but if I know that I might need it in the near future, I'll just keep it open as a tab. So do you just never turn off your PC? I do, but modern browsers can just reopen with all the previous tabs. God, that's going to take forever, though. Not really. Like, it's pretty fast. But, um, pretty okay. There are bookmarks for that. I just, yes, I know. I know, funny man in chat, you with your funny words. Uh, however, you've you have uh, ignored one crucial one crucial thing. He's lazy. I don't care. <laughs> this is cool. Sorry, I have the. To... Yes. I captured a ship. <coughs> yeah, after I sent out a mayday signal. Good job. We're, we're ignoring that part. Ah. Uh -huh. I think that technically classifies you as a pirate. <laughs> yeah. A 
Sword, can you tell them how you close your Firefox? Well, usually through the task manager. Why? Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, when you have several windows open, you can't close all the windows at the same time. You just go in the task manager and just fucking kill the app. All right. I spent some money on a Steam sale again. Let's go. Yeah, oh, what would you buy? God. Uh, I bought. I it, there, there was for some games. I bought Anno 1800 in like the complete edition, right? Mm -hmm. Because I, I played a shitload of Anno when I was a kid, and Anno 1800 is apparently quite okay. So I was like, eh, I might as well try it. I like it. I did get the Skywalker Saga finally, the new Lego Star Wars, which. I was like, I'm not going to pay 60 bucks for it, but it was like on sale for like half off. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll buy the new Lego Star Wars. You got me. What else did I buy? Um, oh, uh, Warhammer 40k, uh, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. The the XCOM style game, but with Grey Knights, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the thing that sold it for you? Um, well, yeah, great. They, they've, got my, they've got my aesthetic. Yes, I uh, got Disco Elysium, because that's apparently really fucking good. Never played that. If you like yeah. uh, if you like Chaos Gate, though, I would recommend Mechanicus as well. And uh, Celeste. Is that like, oh, is that yeah. like a fun little platformer? I, I tried Celeste, it gave me a stress headache. <laughs> <laughs> so Incredible. a glowing review from you. Oh yeah, no, it's a fucking awesome game, but I it was just like I Inventory. I'm not really that good at the precision games where it's just like you have to hit the right button at the exact right moment. Mm. I I I'm more of the mash button until it dies kind of kind of girl. Understand yeah. why have a nice day. Alright, let's uh <laughs> start Anno up here in the background. Yeah. I just with the last last sale, I think it's autumn sale. Uh, I bought like four more games and then proceeded to install Skyrim again. So e. classic. Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, I just started with a mod pack yesterday. Mm -hmm. That actually makes it look like a modern game, and you know it, it only took two thousand mods. Ah yes, wonderful. Yeah, Skyrim is one of those games where you download it mod it and by the time you finish getting all the mods to work you, you don't want to play it out and oh, no yeah. you, you, at the end of the day you realize that you are still literally just playing skyrim no matter how fancy you dress it up and then you realize hmm i don't think i actually want to play skyrim again well i've got this program that i does that just does like mod packs so it's literally just install program install uh, and then just click download and then oh, right. it just hogs the internet for like two hours and you're good yeah my, my problem is that i'm completely out of space as in like actual like hard drive space um to have you not got an external just for skyrim um no <laughs> it's uh it's a bit of a problem in fact uh, i have to have to get some more storage I like two and a half terabytes and they're full with like games and shit. Another problem with Skyrim is that you start it up and you're like, have I disabled all of the sex mods? Hmm. No, that's you. Just me? Okay. Yeah, just, oh, you. Yeah. just you. To be fair, I've, I've had that problem that's with you. freaking um. Sims. This is a surprising amount of mods. <laughs> surprising amount of smut. Yeah. Why is the internet so horny? Because it's the internet. Have, have, you, have you read the Lusty Argonian <laughs> made? Oh my god. Uh, Incredible. Truly a work of art. Grab your dick and double click for more. <laughs> for, Oh, I love how the... Oh, yes, wonderful. Thank you. I just opened up the main menu of Anno 1800, and now it's giving me a thank you for your purchase message for every single DL DLC that's in the complete <laughs> thing. Thank yeah, you. That's, that's the next very, 10 minutes, then. Very cool. Oh, my God. It still hasn't stopped. I'm clicking.
There we go. Okay. Disconnecting. The ship that I found, I'm going to grind some of its resources. Incredible. My drills are probably going to bash it away. Quite what I had in mind. Hmm. What have you done? Uh, I was hoping to drill it, but my I just knocked it away into space awkwardly. Good going. Yeah. Oh, you can turn the cameras. How long has that been a thing? What the fuck? Cool. Oh, you find something new every day. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought they were like a fixed POV. There we go. Oh, God. I hate the fact that Steam is now a launcher to open other launchers. Oh Thank yeah, I've you. always hated that. Thank yeah. you, Ubisoft. Very cool. Oh, but is it Ubisoft? Yeah. Yeah, they in this case, it's Ubisoft. That's not even uh, as reliable. Yeah, it's just really annoying. There was a game that I played recently called Sea of Thieves, and it had this yes. really, really cool intro part with like this tutorial that was built into it. Sea of Thieves is really, yes. really fun actually. And sea I. Of I was really impressed, and after the tutorial, the, the sort of the, the scenery pans backwards to the title screen, Sea of Thieves. But all of that would have been great if it weren't. But if before that you didn't have to sign into an Xbox Live account, and then there was like three or four other steps that you had to do before it even got to this bit. Mm -hmm. And I could totally see people being like, "Fuck this," and just you know ignoring it long before they got to the good bit. Mm -hmm. It's like your first. Your first 10 to 15 minutes are absolutely paramount. Absolutely. Like, your first impressions matter so much. Don't, like, shove fucking login screens in front of your customer. Yeah, it's just in Sea of Thieves, the problem is because it's continuously online and they're using their Microsoft infrastructure for it. Um, because you don't have a... Um you know, you don't have a single player, right? It's continuous open open world and there are PvP elements to it. Sure. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, we, we are using our services and you have to log into our services for this to work. It's like, okay, I get it. I mean, if it happens right at the beginning when you start the game, it's like, please log in and then you can start. I'm like, uh, it's okay. What I don't particularly like is when a game just starts without giving you the option to go to the settings menu. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That. Oh, I because, I'm like, yeah. because I'm like, no, 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 this is an, I'm not on a TV where I can adjust the audio with a remote. I need to go into yep. the audio settings, you fucks, because you start at 100% volume and usually I need like 20, okay? Yeah, your resolution like, is shagged, I need yeah. to fix it, you know. Yeah, I got a game as part of a bundle. It's an indie game, but it's no excuse for the fact that this thing had no settings, not even sound settings to turn it down. Really? Yeah. Like, I had to go into the, uh, the volume mixer in my PC in order to turn it down. Uh. Like, that even... Even for an indie game, that is inexcusable. Uh. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yes, hobo. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm going to fly back to Mars and land. Good morning. Hey, hey, Prince. Hello. How are you doing? You okay? Uh, just woke up like an hour ago. I showered. I made myself food. Mm. Can't complain, really. Good. Mm. Hola. Should... Uh, uh, I mean, right. aside, aside the fact that I should have been in uni like two hours ago, but... Huh. Ah, Good. it's Igor. Mm. Guten Tag. Igor. Moin. Oh. Igor. Yeah, it's it's the thing where people that aren't German call me Prince, and the people that are German call me Igor because. You mean Prince? It's a Glor. compound name. Yes. Prince Igor. Prince Igor. Incredible. Yeah, I just had to run downstairs my fucking pizza. Well, it's not a pizza, it's a calzone, but it arrived. Let's go. Hooray. Oh, pork. Yes. I might get a burger. Mm. How, how much are calzones where you are at? Uh, this one is like 14 bucks. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> stupid, but it's really fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, is it? Man. I, I've long since learned the lesson to not judge you for how you spend your money because you don't care anyway, so why bother? Yes. I don't... See, I I am the expensive friend. I did it again, by the way. Um, <laughs> Who did you trick this time? Red. Uh, one, of my, uh, one of my mods. Uh, he, uh, he came over and he ended up actually buying an iPhone because he was so fed up with his... He was so fed up with his Pixel. I was like, come to the dark side. <laughs> Oh, at least it wasn't the em uh... embrace of the walled garden. Yeah, at least it wasn't a sound system this time. No, 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 no. That's uh, that's all good. I mean, it's fairly okay. That's still fairly cheap. I think the m I, I think the worst I've done is to to one of my friends has got him to buy a. Uh, p I pointed him in the direction of a firearm, and he ended up spending over twenty grand on the setup. Right? <laughs> I think that's the worst what? I've ever done. <laughs> kind of. Twenty grand on the setup. What was that? Thank you for saying so, Derenik. Um, it was an Acuras International AX50 ELR Schmidt and Bender five to forty five on top, and a Socom fifty cal suppressor. Uh, on like, it took it took Acuras International so long to ship the damn order. They just put a bunch of ammunition on top. They were like, here as a as yeah. a. Sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Spe speaking of which, whatever happened to that scope of yours? My scope? It's on my rifle and it's already been used. Oh, and finally. It works. How long yes. did that take? Uh, I, the, Thank you, Charlotte. To, to, Thank same you very company, much. actually. Um, he, he, his was also delayed. The difference <laughs> is because he bought the most expensive scope that fucking company makes. He got a personalized letter from the fucking company that was like, we are so sorry. <laughs> and you're going to get a discount. And I was like, and what do I get? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. Fuck you. <laughs> um, um, how, how the fuck do you suppress a 50 cal? You put a big suppressor on it. It's physics. It's not that difficult. Make the suppressor bigger. Um, well, the games have just told me you just screw an oil can on the end and then it's nice and quiet. Yep, pillow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, uh, for, first of all, I need you to lower your voice. Second... <laughs> <laughs> oil filters are readily available on Amazon. Whoops. <laughs> crazy how that works. They also have internal baffle designs. Oh, crazy. Anyway. Oh. No, uh, un unlike, unlike the US, suppressors are perfectly legal here. Um, Don't you mean silencers? No, yeah. I, I, no, I think the British term is moderators, actually. In, in your law. I think they're called moderators. <laughs> no, you shoot the moderators with them. <laughs> uh, and a, I forgot the. Oh, sorry, I forgot the bipod. Yeah, he also bought no. the. I also bought oh, the bipod. Can't too. The bipod. Yeah, can't forget that. I think that bipod was the cheapest part of the whole setup, um, mm. by far. But yeah. yeah. But as we know, what Call of Duty showed us is that we can just take an oil filter from any car. Yeah, that just is, screw it uh, onto the end of our pistol. Yeah, because oh, really? <laughs> semi-auto pistol, and it becomes instantly silent. Thank you, I mean, George. Thank if, you if very much. If it had the right threat pitch, in theory, 
<laughs> I mean... It needs the right board diameter and thread pitch. If that's uh, correct, it would technically work, kind of. How much would it do with being semi-auto, though, is the question. Uh, a friend of mine bought competition there, sites to his handgun and his order Thank got you. stopped at the Czech Customs for like a month because they thought it's radioactive. By all means, good luck, Harry. Yeah, if you bought tritium site, then they are radioactive. That's how the tritium sites work. And the 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 the, um, the problem is in the in the U.S. the the uh, laws surrounding radioactive materials are not quite as harsh as in the EU. So I can't easily get tritium sites here in <clears throat> in Germany, but in the U.S. you can buy them. Just you know. Is it tritium in a normal or shop. radon? No, tritium. Is it ri radium? I oh, fucking know. I, I think they're overrated anyway, but you can't easily import them here into Germany. I know that because of but the But how, how else will you make your, your neutron gun without your tritium hunting site? <laughs> That's how the atomic boy scout uh, yeah. made his neutron gun. <laughs> The part oh, where he yeah. just called up a bunch of... What was it? Called up like a bunch of, like, clock... Uh, did he, well, who did he call to get all the clocks? Uh, it was smoke detectors. Smoke detectors, sorry. That's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah I think he, he was doing a bit of social engineering where he was pretending to be, like... A teacher. The, yeah, a teacher yeah. or a professor doing lessons. So it was just like, oh, can I have some smoke detectors, please? Yeah, and, and they gave he, it to him. Yeah, and then he had, like... <laughs> Because he was pretending to be a teacher, there was someone that was just giving him basically a guide on how to do it. Like every every time he he gets stuck, he'd ring up the dude and go, "Yeah, I'm stuck. What do I need to do?" Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Hmm. I'm currently falling towards the surface of Mars. Is it a controlled fall, or is it more of a, oh, fuck, we're falling kind of fall? Yes. What do you mean, yes? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, I, I'm gonna head mm. off. You guys have a good See night. You. Bye. 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 Have a good one, Mazu. I have, still, I still have questions. <laughs> well, the answers you'll receive soon. Uh -huh. You'll receive those answers in 20.3 kilometers. So I'm going to go back, park the ship, and then go get on with work. That's yeah, I probably look like a fucking nutcase so when I'm walking the dog, because in one hand I've got my phone, and then the other, in the other hand I've got like a, a literal dictaphone, like it's the 90s. Oh my god, really? Yep. You've got an actual... Oh my god. Yep. There's a dictation app on your phone, you know that, right? Th there is, but the act of, of going through and opening the app and then starting the record... So, uh, unlocking my phone... Uh, uh, then getting into the app and then opening the app and then hitting record. Long. It yeah. takes you too long. Yeah, oh my yeah. god. Whereas this is just button click, click record, click record. Just like that. So a quick MP3 file is made. Swat, have you heard see, this see, list? Hold, oh, hold up a second. Yep. O on the one hand, I can totally understand this from a user experience perspective and trying to record your thoughts. Mm -hmm. I will still make fun of you for it though. And that's fine. <laughs> but uh, the dictaphone <laughs> is also, it's, it's not just, it's, it's tactile. So I can reach through my clothing. So I can just press down against my coat pocket, click, record. Just, it's are instantaneous. You, are you not going to get stopped by the police for the fact you keep fondling your coat pocket? <laughs> yeah. Man records by touching his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, least, least, least it's so many a questions. breast pocket. If it hmm. was down low, you'd get put on a list. Does it, does it, does it like... I mean, you probably don't. You're not wearing a microphone, right? So it's probably just recording on the on the dictaphone itself. Does it even sound good through a coat? No. Like, is it... But it, it doesn't. Oh. It, it doesn't need to sound good. It, it just needs to be coherent. Yeah, it just needs to be like eleven right. twenty three. You know, that cut that tighter or something. Because I'm I'm listening to the the bullshittery or whatever the video I say back continually on my headset. So I don't have time to take one glove off my hand, unlock my phone. You know, it, it, fucking adding seconds to every single time I need to do it. Dictaphone, click record. What? Ask him Ooh. about his shopping list. My shopping list? Your shopping list? Yeah, the shopping list you shared. Uh, what? Evernote? Oh, uh... Yes. <laughs> no, we're... <laughs> no, no, we're not talking about that. Hmm? Um... 
Yeah, I gotta get a bunch of stuff for a bunch of YouTube skits and see if I can do them. Yeah, so about your shopping list. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'm now 5k <laughs> from the surface. As you can see, tactfully avoiding the subject. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta focus on landing. Well, the landing's gonna happen. Here we go. Oh, it's what? There you go, in team speed. Okay. Everything's going fine. And here we uh oh uh oh uh oh Ooh. That was tighter than I would have liked. Now chat, I would dock it with the cradle fully, but my ship is a bit too fat. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll give it a go. Here we go. Stand by. She's gotten a bit girthier than she used to be back when I first designed the cradle. So can it squeeze in? No, it's scraping. What if I go up? Nah, it's not going to fit the top. And the the arse is way too big. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to expand the wings of the cradle. So for now, I'm just going to dock it here, on the connector. Right. There we go, and... Locked. Locked. Parking engaged. Hello. Hello. All thrusters disabled. Stand by. There we go. Engines, hydrogen engines disabled. Disable all refineries and assemblers just to mm. save. There we go. Checking batteries. Uh, so 18 hours until fully depleted. Cool. We're good. Plenty of time. Right. Cool. I still need to go up and find some uranium. My reactor still lies empty, which means I don't have the energy to keep my jump drive running. Or most elements of my base, to be honest. So... That's a work in progress. Right. Hang on. Okay, I've landed at my base. Didn't crash. Everything's oh, alright, nothing shit. broke. Yeah, it seems alright. Hmm. Incredible. Yeah. And I'm going to go get on with work today, I think. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for your company, guys. I'll see you soon. Hmm. Yeah. Have a, have a good one. Take See care. you later. Yeah. Bye. 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 Right. Whoops. Bloody hell. So thanks for watching, everyone. So this Space Engineers, I flew up into space. I met Social System and his ship. Uh, he, he, had, well, he doesn't have a true name for it yet. So, uh, yeah, we saw his ship and all of its turrets. And then I beat him in a race, fair and square. Killed another ship, which was asking for help. It was an NPC ship that was broadcasting Mayday. Okay. Right, so, I'm going to bog off now and go, whoopsie, weird, I can't seem to go third person. Um, so I'm going to bog off and get on with work today. So, so doing this video essay thing.
on a game called The Forest. Uh, the first hour of that video is below. I'm working on the next 52 minute segment, which I'm going to add on to that hour soon, probably by the end of the week. So please bear with me. My playhead, out of the 52 minutes, my playhead is on the 30 the 31st minute uh, but there's still plenty of stuff behind the playhead that I need to fix so work on going please bear with me I'm sure I'll be around uh, this evening playing so hope to see you again then and um, yeah well thank you for watching and thank you Shamrock thank you for subbing and Harry and George before that let me have a look and see who's doing what bear with me okay so what? bear with me stream team oh yeah I need to send a yeah, I need to get back to um, Messiesi's message. Okay, so Quebec is playing a bit of Warhammer Chaos Gate. I'll leave you in Quebec's presence then. So this is ZF Quebec playing the new version of Chaos Gate. All the best, folks. Have a good one.